Hey everyone, welcome back to Wrath of Math. I'm your host, Sean Ian, and in today's video we'll be answering the question, what is a spanning subgraph? So let's get right into it. As a quick recap, we know that a graph is an ordered pair with a vertex set we'll call V of G and an edge set we'll call E of G, and then we'll define one more graph for the purpose of this example with vertex set V of H and edge set E of H. Then let's take a look at the definition of subgraph. So here it is, H is a subgraph of G if and only if the vertex set of H is a subset of the vertex set of G and the edge set of H is a subset of the edge set of G. Basically saying H is a subgraph of G if everything in H is also in G. But what do we have to change about this definition or add in order to define spanning subgraphs? Well, it's actually not too complicated. So we have H is a spanning subgraph of G if and only if, and then here's where the change comes, we're going to erase the subset sign and put an equals sign. So H is a spanning subgraph of G if and only if the vertex set of H is equal to the vertex set of G. And then we still have our other piece of the subgraph definition saying that the edge set of H is a subset of the edge set of G. So H is a spanning subgraph of G if H is a subgraph of G and its vertex set is equal to the vertex set of G. So let's look at an example. So here we've got our graph we'll call G and we've got our graph we'll call H. As things stand currently, H is a subgraph of G because it fits the definition of subgraph that we previously stated, but H is not currently a spanning subgraph of G, and that's because its vertex set is not equal to the vertex set of G. We see that G has vertices 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. H only has 1, 2, and 4, so it's lacking 3 and 5, so it's not a spanning subgraph right now. So then what do we have to change about H to make it a spanning subgraph? Well, we have to make its vertex set equal to G's vertex set. So we'll add in those extra vertices. We'll put the five right here, and then we'll put the three down here. Now their vertex sets are equal, and of course H is still a subgraph of G. So because it's a subgraph of G and it has an equal vertex set, this graph is a spanning subgraph of that graph. And of course, we could also add some of the edges here. So if we connected one to five, H is still a spanning subgraph of G because again, it's a subgraph with an equal vertex set. But if we were to say join one and four, then H is no longer a spanning subgraph of G because in G, one and four are not joined by an edge. So in this case, it's no longer a subgraph. So it can't be a spanning subgraph. So just to recap that one more time, a graph H is a spanning subgraph of G if H is a subgraph of G and the vertex set of H is equal to the vertex set of G. A spanning subgraph is a subgraph whose vertex set is equal to that of the graph that it's a subgraph of. And if it doesn't have the same vertex set, then it's not a spanning subgraph. And that's all there is to it. So I hope this video helped you understand what spanning subgraphs are. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet. I can't wait for more.